Hey everybody, so this is Dallas Stone here again, doing another video for you guys. Uh, this time, I'll be focusing more on breaking down the different areas of video game development inside a team. Now, rem just keep this in mind, this is, this is a more um, in-depth of what I was talking about in the previous video, but it's still not the, the whole picture of what a video game studio is. It's just more of explaining to you guys a little bit more of what each department or area is, uh, what their purpose is inside a team, okay? So, let's see here. So today we're also going to be looking at, for me to like explain this properly, um, I'll be showing you guys this, okay? And this, for majority of you, I'm hoping, know that this is the Mario, this is the first level of Mario right the first one or two levels of Mario and uh, this is gonna help me illustrate my points I'll kind of explain to you guys uh, so you guys visually can see something and hopefully put it together okay uh, so here we go what you guys are looking at is a level in Mario and every single part of development was put into this okay uh, programming is put into this. Uh, QA testing is put into this. Designers designed this and artists help create this level. Okay, so the very first thing that I'm going to talk about is the programming. And the reason I want to talk about programming is because I actually don't do much programming. I don't do any programming at all really. <clears throat> so I'm going to get that out of the way right uh, get that out of the way um, and just kind of quickly letting you guys know what the programmers did for this level. Okay. So, in Mario, uh, you know, you start off, <coughs> uh, you know, all the way to the left here. And what the programmers do in a game team is they just make things work, okay? Uh, loading up the game, that is programmers. They're the one who, who makes sure that the game loads up. Uh, making sure that the menus work. Making sure that when you want to start a new game, that it starts a new game. Uh, making sure that when you run and you hit one of these boxes over here, uh, let, me, let me just zoom in. That when you run and you hit one of these boxes, that the coin pops up. That when this little box here, this question box, gets hit, that a mushroom pops up. That is all the programmers. They're the one who makes it happen. Okay? Uh, they make sure that when you're running and you're jumping, uh, you're jumping is, is another thing. Uh, they have to put that into the game. They're the ones who program it so that when you press the, I believe, the A button, uh, that you jump. Right? Uh, that when you go onto this little pipe and you press it down, that you teleport down into this secret area. That is all them. Nobody else, okay? That is all programmers. They're the one who makes things work. <coughs> they make sure that when you fall into this, into this pit, you start again. Okay? So I hope that I drill that into you guys. That is the goal of the programmer. This is why the programmers are so important. And without programmers, the game just will not exist. Okay? So, the next people that I want to talk about is, is, the, is the QA guys. The QA guys. Um, and the QA and designers, those two kind of work together. Okay? So, the QA guys are the guys that get the level when it's, uh, when it's relatively done right um, and they're and, and they test it they make sure that the flow is right I can guarantee you that this was not the original sketch and the original draft of the Mario's first level their first draft and level design <coughs> probably did not look probably looked similar to this but not even close and so maybe this pipe was really close and Mario ran around and they felt like the pipe here was too close so they moved it over here so that there's better level flow maybe they had this little area here uh, closer by maybe Mario in the original sketching started way too close to the level and they, and they felt that Mario should be back a little bit more so that players can get a feel for the controls right away if before they see uh, things on their screen <coughs> Sorry. So, you know, 
it was the QA guys that came in here and helped balance and give their feedback and suggestions on the levels. That is what the QA guys do. If QA guys also try breaking things, you know, um, when the programmer adds and, and the level designer added in this mushroom popping out, uh, this uh, one up mushroom here and this uh, this another mushroom here and the star here, maybe when they first created the prototype for this, it wasn't working. You know, all these things weren't working. And guess who found that stuff out? It was probably the QA guys. You know, maybe when you fell into this little tunnel uh, or this pit, you just you decide you all of a sudden responded back into the world like from here and you didn't lose a, a life and these bugs and these these uh, issues were then reported and made sh and because of the QA guys those things got fixed for the final game okay so that is the role of the QA guys QA they go in they test the levels make sure everything's working and if things aren't working they report it and the reports get sent to either the programmers, the level designers, or the artists, depending on what the problem is, and then it gets fixed. Okay, so that's those are the QA guys. Now let's talk about the, the designers. Okay, the designers and uh, for this game. So well, like we were saying before, the designers obviously start off with sketches, whether it was a quick pencil sketch uh, in in their notebook, right, or or in some grid line paper. But it started out somewhere, and they, the, the designers were the ones that said, "Okay, so this is Mario, right? This is the first level. His goal is to get from point A, which is over here, all the way to point B. That is his goal. That is his goal. Okay. Um, and if they are able to get to this flag, right, then." things happen. You know, he goes into this pipe, this pipe brings him out and, and they're in the second level. The designer is one who create all these secret stuff, right? If you hit these pipes, you're going to get into here. They're the ones who design where the coins are going to go. They decide when all these these uh, eating guys from the pipes, I forgot what their names are, these uh, Koopa Troopas, you know, all of these guys. They design, they design this level. Okay, they're the ones who decided this is where everything's going to be. This is how the level is going to flow, and this is how the level is going to look like. Okay, that is the designer's job. Okay, the designer has a lot of work to do. In that, they're the ones who have to visualize this, put it on paper, document it, so that when someone looks at this level, they understand how this level is going to work. That is a designer's job. Okay, is the funny thing is, is there's not that many designers on a game team. There's probably about, I mean, I guess it really depends on the on the game and how big the game is. But for Mario, there was probably only maybe two designers, if not one. So, I mean, obviously they had you know the art lead, the art director, right? Or they had a lead level designer, and then they had a level designer behind them. Right, so there's there's a bunch of different uh, levels of of a designer, but that's essentially what a level designer does, or a designer, sorry, for that matter. Right, they design, come up with the ideas, and then they put all the assets together. <coughs> okay, so now designers work very carefully with QA and art. Okay, I, so what does art do then? What does the art, the artist do inside a video game studio? So the designer has everything laid out, right? They have this in a document, and they go, "Okay, artists, we need a bunch of assets for my level. Okay, we're gonna need this these background clouds. Okay, the artist has to make that. We need background mounds. The artist makes that. We need brick blocks. We need pipes. We need uh, these enemies. We need." Mushrooms. We need stars. We need Koopa Troopas. We need m other more different textured blocks. We need uh, the flag and the castle. Okay. We need these weird-looking grid elevator things. We need uh, pipe monsters and blue brick this time. Okay. 
the artists are the ones that has to make these assets okay and once these assets are made they are then given to the designer then the designer gets to go in and say okay he has like a nice little window and he'll get to paint in these bricks and then he'll be like okay I need some clouds on the sky and then he'll go look at his assets that the artist has made and he'll you know drop it in and put it into the, into the clouds right and that is essentially how the art and designer works together you know and let's say you know the designer puts in the cloud and he goes you know what this cloud doesn't look very good you know you guys need to put a little bit more detail to it give it some shadow he's gonna send it back to the artist and be like can you please fix this and then the artist fixes it re-uploads it gives it to the uh, the designer and the designer puts it into the level okay so that's just that's how the art the artist the 3d artist 2d artist whatever it is uh, works inside like game studio with the designer okay uh, again QA is very important because QA works with almost every single department you know if uh, for example the, the pipe or the mound flickers or something right uh, it, that, that would get reported by the QA and the programmers would look at it because they, they're going to look at their code and see if it's the, on their end and then you know the artists are also going to look at it because they're going to make sure that whatever asset that they built uh, didn't you know didn't break the game and then the designers will look at it and make sure that it wasn't on their end either right um, so the QA QA is so important in the game development it's it's just people don't give them enough credit uh, they're the ones who works uh, usually they don't work in the greatest environment and <coughs> they don't get to do too much of the, the of the design of the game but that is essentially programming QA designers and artists in a video game studio um, and I hope that, that kind of helps you guys out a little bit on the differences uh, of all the different departments you know so I'm just gonna quickly go through a quick overview here programmers they make things work they're the ones that makes the game function properly okay QA they test the whole game they make sure that the game runs well they're the ones who give suggestions <coughs> and feedback to the designers to the artists to the programmers the designers they're the ones that design the level they're the ones who go in they document everything and they make sure that when someone is given the task to build assets and functionality to their level that's when they're given that document they understand exactly what it is that they need to build and then once the assets are built for the designers the designers go in and they're the ones who actually places it into the level the way that they designed it the artist which is what I do is I build the assets for the designers for QA to test and for the programmers to make sure that the art works okay that is what we do we're the ones who build everything that you visually can see for the team hope you guys enjoyed that video thank you so much